My name is Susan Wandell. I'm a facilitator at ideas to go The real benefit of using kids in ideation is that you are doing, um, it's like primary research when you're actually interviewing the source. This isn't research, this is ideation, but you're ideating with your actual target. Um, that's the first benefit, is that you're not going through someone to get what you think kids think. You're learning about what kids think. Um, then there are other benefits in that they provide just an incredible energy to the project. Um, one of our clients described the kids, working with the kids as just seeing faces of pure joy. The kids are excited, the kids are, are anxious to be genuinely helpful, and they tell you what they think and how they feel and what they want and what they're looking for and what they think would be cool. And then, um, as with any ideation, you use consumers to inspire the client thinking. And so the kids actually inspire the clients to generate new products or to um, generate communication ideas. I think we first trained creative consumer kids in 1984. It could have been 83, but I think it was 84. Um, the original intent at Ideas to Go for using kids was that kids have that naivete and they could come at any kind of topic and with their naive ideas of how to solve the problem, you could use what they had to say and translate it into your own terms and just get a different perspective on the problem that you were trying to solve. It wasn't long before we decided that really kids were probably most effective or that it most effective for teams if in fact um, we used them when they were the actual target. So we've been using kids in ideation, well, since 1983 or 84, and I think uh, I just checked some records, and since 1997, we have done, I think, 92 different children's projects. Some of those involved children who um, were infants, so you work with moms or dads or caregivers, and then some of those were children that went all the way up into college. If you look at um, young teens or tweens, we've done an awful lot of food work. Um, but the one I think that was very interesting to me, and I'm pretty sure I can talk about this one, is one that we did for the CDC, and it was several years ago, and it was about how to get the kid, how to get kids up off the couch and being active. And uh, that was something we had heart for, because who would be against having kids exercise and get moving? And we had several different concepts that we built based on that. And the kids were just wonderful. And the client team was really quite astonished at kind of the level of sophistication of the kids. Um, and also at the diversity of the kids that we bring in. I should mention that as well. Um, probably the one that we have talked about the most because we have permission to talk about it is one that fourth and fifth grade students participated in and it was a Quaker project and this was many many years ago but we do have permission to talk about it and that was where they helped them come up with dinosaur eggs um, that um, you poured boiling water on your instant oatmeal and dinosaurs appeared. I think I mentioned early on that sometimes the simplicity of their thinking can be a help because we've got too many barriers in our way. And sometimes that simplicity of thought can be very helpful. But now I think it is more helpful to have kids who are close to 
the type of product that people are looking for to generate ideas so that you're more on the money. Um, I can tell you that um, we had teens looking at Teen People magazine many years ago. And they were thinking they were going down this path. And when the teens came in and generated ideas, they decided it was way better to go down this path. So I think when you speak to your audience directly, you get a greater understanding of what their unmet needs are, what their wants are, what their desires are, than if you just have research. The other thing I, I um, ask a client was, if you wouldn't have come to Ideas to Go, where would you have gone? Or how would you have gotten this information? And she said, well, we've got some partnerships with schools. But when you go to a school, you have such a broad range of kids to deal with that it's not as efficient as coming here where you have found kids who are articulate and sharp kids and kids who you have trained in idea generation. And she said it's just so much more efficient to use the kids here. And you'd think that kids would be shy about that, but because we have vetted these kids and trained these kids in our process, they come in and they have confidence and they stand up and they do what they're there to, be, to do. <laughs> I mean, there's just no question. And in fact, I think that is the thing that has surprised our client teams the most is the energy with which the kids come in and their confidence and their interest in being genuinely helpful. You know, pretty much everybody on the way out the door says, this was amazing, we'll be back. I mean, it's just, I think it opens a client team's eyes. I think it, um, solidifies a team because it's something that's so different in their work life. They don't often have an opportunity to do this. And um, you have the facilitators that know how to get the most out of kids. So they're not on their own. It's not, um, you know, when they go to a school and one of the people there who may be very skilled at working with kids, but that person does, wears a lot of other hats. So that's not their job. So when they come here, I think um, it is an energized kind of rapid fire bunch of ideas that are spilling out of these kids' mouths and um, they don't find that in other places. So, and I know our clients love the ideas to go process, and when you combine that process with kids, I think they just find it incredibly helpful.